you to the eye of the beholder Cause my skull carries more power than a whole Yo, what's up, YouTube? Roots back here, part five Part five Of my Canadian essential hip-hop albums Yeah, part five of six Alright Uh doesn't really need an introductory, I guess. Uh, we'll get right into it. What you're hearing in the background here um, is an Asian MC represent Toronto. Uh, he goes by the name of Anonymous Twist. Uh, this album was released on Herbnet back in 2003. Um, what can I say, man? You can hear it in the background. Just, it's just hip hop, man. It's just Anonymous Twist ripping rhymes, man. It's, there's really not a lot to it, man. I, I recommend this album because you don't hear a lot of. I don't need to sound like an asshole or anything, but I can't really think of too many really, really dope Asian MCs that are coming out of Canada. Um, but uh, Anonymous Twist definitely holds it down, man. Fucking love this record, man. Almost. It's got 20 tracks on here. There's a bunch of interludes, but uh, it, it flows well. It flows well, man. Love the track. Rock, scissor, paper on here. This is uh, when my eyes unfold. Um, uh, puzzle piece uh, unlit, unfitted is fucking dope, man. Such a dope track, but you know, you're just gonna get. I mean, back in the early 2000s, Urbanet was putting out so much dope shit, man. I, I honestly don't know what the fuck happened to him, but you can't go wrong with this rhyme on Orthodox fucking shit. Rugged is sick, man. So dope. But it's what you're gonna get with this record. It's a little taste of it. Definitely check out Anonymous Twist. It's called Through the Looking Glass. Yeah, dope album cover right there. Uh, next up, I think the first uh, <coughs> first female album on this whole countdown thing. Um, she's actually making it pretty big, man. You know, she's big in the stage. She tours with big big crews and shit. And um, I'm a really big fan of her debut record. I gotta say, I just it just has a lot of heart. It just it comes. She just feels. She sounds hungry on it. Um, I just I, li I like the the delivery. I like the fucking her lyrics and shit. Um, talking about Eternia. Uh, the album's called It's Called Life. Uh, this was um, this was a really dope record, man. Released by Urbnet in 2005. Um, God, I think majority of these albums I'm showing are like from that exact time period. Uh, but yeah, Eternia. What you fucking, you know, you just get what you get with Eternia, man. She just comes raw at you. Um, I think she's really, really hungry on this record. It really shows. Um, the song Understand It By featuring Freestyle is actually on Freestyle's album too. Um, the Edge and Stone record. She's got Wordsworth on here and Ken Starr in a song called Struggle, um, which is pretty fucking dope. Uh, Evidence is a really sick track, man. Uh, what can I say, man? It's just basically this album is all about her life. She's hungry. Uh, she's, just, she's just giving it to you raw, man. You know, the album title says it all. It's called Life. It's really what you get with her. Talk about her family and shit like that and her dad and it's fucking dope I really like it uh, next up is a cat that pretty much everybody knows now uh, yeah I mean this is uh, I believe his this was his second record I believe um, yeah so Shad the old prince I really like this album man I think this is just a fantastic album Shad is one of the best Canadian MCs that I've heard in a long time uh, you know, the song Brother Watching, man, I just, just such a fucking dope vibe on five. Really good shit, man. The old prince still lives at home, but that video still cracks the shit out of me, man. I love it. But, you know, with Shad, you know, he's just great delivery, awesome lyrics, man, just great vibe. He's got a good ear for beats and stuff, and very cool concepts and stuff. You know, it's just it's just real. I think Shad is uh, he's gonna go places, man, for sure. Fucking just a... Just one of those albums, great vibe and album. Well, this synonymous stuff. Anonymous twist, man. It's fucking sick. Um, next up is an album I've showed before. Uh, Penis and Corn is the label. Uh, this is actually the only album that was never, or that wasn't produced fully by McEnroe. Uh, it was actually produced by DJ Moves. Moves, not Moves. Uh, DJ Moves and uh, Bird of Prey did the rapping on it. It's an album called um, Alleged Legends. 
Uh, it's just got a great vibe. Bird of Prey just comes so solid with the rhymes, man. It's got a really, it's got a different type of vibe to it, man. It's kind of it's slow at times, and like it's, it sounds kind of dark at times too, but not too dark. Um, really, really like the, the beats and moves used on here. Uh, Bird's mind is fucking sick. Identity, identity crisis, Broke Street, sick man. Bird is the alibi. Uh, just it's just laced with such good tracks, man. Um, this is one that you can still get on Peanuts and Corn. Pretty, you can still get their whole catalog. Nothing is out of print except for the first like five or six tapes or whatever. But yeah, definitely check out Peanuts and Corn. Check out this record. Could not say enough good things about it, man. If you've heard Bird of Prey, you know what you're getting into lyrically. Um, but it's just a, it's just a really really solid hip hop record. I believe it came out in I want to say this is one of the early early. This is yeah, this is number 13 that was released on Peanuts and Corn. One of the very first records that came out, they're almost at 50 now. So, you know, around 2001, I believe, or something like that, it came out in. But yeah, awesome, awesome record. Can't say that things about that one. Uh, next up is by an album by a cat that has, God, I, I, I'd probably say fucking 50 albums out at least. Everybody knows who this guy is, man. He's been all over the place. Uh, originally born in my hometown of Prince George, um, moved to... Uh, moved to uh, uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, and just basically blew the fuck up. Um, did a bunch of stuff in the 90s, signed with Battle Axe, and then just from there, I mean, he seems to put out like six or seven albums a year, it seems like. But one album that really sticks out to me is uh, Mocha Only's Lime Green album, uh, just strictly because I love the album cover. No, <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, no, it is it is cool. I, I, love the, I, I really like the album cover. But the, the thing I like about this album, and Mocha only in general, is that he does, he makes music strictly of what, like, of how his life is going. This music really reflects how his life is going. Um, it even says on here, actually, uh, this, was, this was recorded between 99 and early 2000. Uh, this album is very synthy sounding, uh, not poppy or anything. It's just got a, it's got a more of a tough tempo kind of funky synth bass line sound to it. Um, it's funny because I was looking at the production credits on here again, and it's you know it's got Moke only production on here, Ron Couture, uh, Flow Torch, uh, shit like that. It's all him. It's just all his different aliases. He used different aliases for the production credits, which I thought was fucking hilarious. Um, but yeah, I was listening to this again, I just, I just really, really fucking, it's just the reason why I like, I love Moke Only. I mean, he's done a few albums that I did not like, um, try to go a little mainstream, but like, I, he's back to doing like his strictly underground stuff. This is an album that, uh, that really sticks out in his catalog because it's very synthy sound. He doesn't do a lot of music like this. And like I said, it's very reminiscent of the times of what was going on in his life and shit. It's just funky as hell, man. This is a really cool record. Really by Battle Axe Records, so um, yeah, definitely check out Live Green, man. I think it's a fucking fantastic album. I mean, trying to collect all Mocha only albums is like, it's like I don't know. It's so fucking hard, man. He's got just a million. I only I own like maybe a dozen of them, you know. But uh, I really really enjoy this one. All right, so that's uh, it for part five. Uh, this I'll do a quick recap here. Here in the background is Anonymous Twist, Through the Looking Glass, uh, Canadian Asian MC, fucking dope. I uh, really highly recommend this record. I mean, I recommend all these records. What am I saying? Attorney, it's called Life. Give it a chance, man. If you're not a fan of female MCs, who knows, man? It, it might it might twist your mind a little bit. Who knows? I think so. Uh, Shad the Old Prince, pretty much everyone's heard this one. Everyone that's watching this right now has probably fucking heard this for sure. Uh, it's dope. Great vibe, great lyrics. Shad is just dope. Uh, Mac, Mac and uh, Bird of Prey and uh, DJ Moves, Alleged Legends. Awesome, check out Peanuts and Core. And last up was another album coming out of Vancouver here with Smoke Only's Lime Green. Like I said, funky as hell, great synth sounds. Uh, it's just, uh, just a different type of album from Oka, man. I think it's really cool. Can't go wrong with that shit, man. So, yeah, there's uh, part five of six Essential Canadian albums. I mean, I, I titled this Essential Canadian Albums. They're not really, I mean, they're just more showing off some Canadian albums that I think are really dope. But, yeah, definitely check out those. Peace out, homies.